If you have an iPad, it's probably just sitting on your desk and you rarely use it. Well, I plan to change that today because in this video, I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks for your iPad and you won't be able to put it down anymore. If you've ever wanted your iPad to be more like a MacBook with multiple resizable windows like these, with iPad OS 26, it's possible. To enable this feature, swipe down from the top right corner of your screen. This will open up your control center. Here, look for the new button, which is the multi-window button, and tap it. Once enabled, all your app windows become resizable, which is so cool because we've waited for so long for our iPads to be able to do this. Also, if you swipe down from the top of an app's window, you will see a MacBook style menu bar with things like files, edits, form Format, view, window, and help. You'll also see this traffic light controls from which you can close the app, hide it, or make it full screen. You can literally open up to 12 apps and have them all on your screen. Now that the multi-window is set up, let me show you a quick trick to split screen your iPad. Before, it used to take a few clicks to split screen like this. But now when you have two apps open, all you have to do is just flick one of them to the left and the other one to the right. It will snap into a split view automatically and resize itself to fit half of the screen. But what if you want to have four apps perfectly arranged like this? Well, no problem. Open up four apps that you want to use, then press and hold the new MacBook style traffic button that appears at the top of your window. A menu pops up with different layout options. Tap the four-way arrangement icon to instantly place four windows symmetrically on your screen. Now, have you ever wished that your favorite website had an app that you can just tap on? Well, let me show you how you can create that app yourself. Open Safari and navigate to the website that you want to save as an app. For example, I'll go to esrtech.com. From here, tap the share button at the top of the screen, then go to more and select add to home screen. Here you can rename it if you want and then just tap add. Now instead of opening Safari and typing the URL every time, you have a one tap app shortcut right on your home screen. This is perfect for websites that you visit frequently that don't have their own app yet. Before we keep going, I want to give a huge shout out to ESR for sponsoring this section. Their accessories are affordable but high quality, and they've completely changed how I use my iPad. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If you're watching this video, you obviously have an iPad, and that means you definitely need a stylus. But Apple Pencils are super expensive, and they don't come with your iPad. But ESR Pencil does just as much for only $29. It even comes with extra tips if you ever need them. Here's how to use it first connected via Bluetooth, by going to Settings, Bluetooth, and select ESR pencil. By the way, the pencil is magnetic so you can stick it to the side of the iPad and this will make sure that the pencil is always with you. This digital pencil has some cool gestures too. If you press the top button once, it will take you to home screen and if you double tap it, you will see all the apps you have opened. You can also scribble with this pencil using the scribble feature built into iPad OS. Plus, you can add your pencil and locate it with Find My so you never lose it. I use my stylus a lot so a screen protector is a must. ESR has the best screen protectors and they're so easy to install. The single box has two screen protectors and has a very short and easy to follow manual. All you have to do is place your iPad screen facing down, then close this thing like a book, then firmly press on the top here and pull the tab out evenly. Before putting that screen protector, don't forget to use the wet wipe, dry wipe, and the dust remover. Yes, this comes in the box too. Now that we have a stylus and a screen protector, let's make this iPad into a laptop. And no, I didn't spend over $250 to get a keyboard. ESR's Flex Keyboard keyboard case only costs $60 and does everything you need and more. This isn't just a keyboard, it's literally a protective case too. So just place the iPad inside, then pair it via Bluetooth similar to the ESR stylus. It has a trackpad so you can tap, scroll, zoom, and swipe with four fingers through opened apps. You can also detach the whole keyboard and still use it. And if you just want to use your iPad as a regular iPad, keep the keyboard detached, flip it, and that's it. Now it's in the perfect position for gaming, drawing, or handwriting in notes. Thanks again to ESR for sponsoring this section. Links to those products are in my description if you want to get them yourself. Now let's get back to the rest of the iPad tips and tricks. Now, did you know that your iPad is basically a scanner? This feature literally hides in your notes app. If you long press the notes app icon on your home screen, in the quick menu that pops up, tap scan document. Then simply point your iPad's camera at the physical paper you want to scan, and the app will automatically detect the edges and scan it. You can adjust the edges before saving so it looks exactly like it was scanned professionally. This is perfect for receipts, contracts, or handwritten notes. Here's an even more hidden feature that I'm sure you never used. Copying and sharing links 
analytics has never been easier. If you press and hold on a link, then drag it, you can open another app like Notes and literally just drop it there. This is super easy and you don't have to manually copy and paste anymore. The next favorite hidden feature of mine is calculating or converting something. You really don't need to go to Safari or a calculator app to calculate something quickly. On your home screen, just swipe down with your finger and as you can see, a search bar will appear. You can make calculations on it. Like for example, 13 times 320 and it gives it to you. Or you can say 50 USD to euros. See, super easy and useful. Now let me show you some smart gestures that you definitely need to know on your iPad. Typing on a big keyboard sometimes just isn't that comfortable, especially if you're using just one hand. Luckily, you can shrink the keyboard and move it wherever you want on the screen. To do this, simply place two fingers on the keyboard and pinch inward. It shrinks down to a small floating keyboard and now you can drag this tiny keyboard anywhere on your screen. And this definitely makes it easier to type with one hand or when multitasking because the regular big keyboard literally takes up half of the screen. By the way, you can still use the small keyboard as a trackpad to move around the text more easily and make edits. To return the keyboard to full size, just pinch outward with two fingers. This simple gesture just makes the iPad so much better. Another cool feature is with your digital pencil. If you ever need to write a quick note while doing something else on your iPad, you do not need to switch to the Notes app every time. All you have to do is just grab your pencil, swipe from the right corner of your iPad and quick notes will appear. Here you can write down your notes or ideas and then when you're done, you just close it. I found this feature super useful when I was in a meeting and I had to quickly write down a name and a phone number. I just went like this and then start writing down. Literally took me a second to do that. The next smart gesture is also very similar. You don't need to take a screenshot by pressing the volume and the lock button anymore. Mm -mm. With your digital pencil, you can quickly swipe from the left side of the screen and it takes a screenshot. But if you're on keyboard and don't want to use a pencil for a screenshot, just press and hold the command, shift, and number four buttons, and it will take a screenshot. Also, you can capture the whole web page. Just tap the full page option that appears on top of the screenshot preview. This lets you save the entire web page in one screenshot scrollable image and you don't need to take multiple screenshots. And by the way, when you save it, you can find it in your photos app ready to share or annotate. Now, do you switch between apps like this? Do not do that anymore because I have a smart gesture that will save your time. Just place your four fingers on the iPad screen and swipe left or right. This gesture cycles through your recently opened app smoothly, letting you jump back and forth. Now let's talk about some customization features because these will blow your mind. If you're tired of static wallpapers, iPad OS 26 lets you create dynamic ones with a tap. Find a picture that has a person, an object, or an animal on it, then press on the share button and click on use as wallpaper. Here you will see this little button, it's called spatial scene. This feature literally makes your wallpaper feel 3D and alive. Next, if you tap on the clock on the lock screen, you can finally change its size. You can make it large and make it float behind an object in the wallpaper. This new liquid glass font adds a sleek, semi-transparent look that blends perfectly with your wallpaper. And you can actually do even more on your lock screen. As you can see, we have a little portion where widgets can go. If you press on it, you will see options like weather, calendar, battery, and a lot more. Add your favorites and arrange them however you'd like. And then just tap done when finished. Look how beautiful this looks. Our home screen isn't left out either. This new iPad OS 26 update adds new themes with a gorgeous liquid glass effect. Long press on the home screen, go to edit and then go to customize. Here you can choose the liquid glass style that you want, either default, dark, clear, or tinted. My favorite one is tinted. It adds a subtle color wash to my app icons and it matches my wallpaper and overall aesthetic, making my home screen look modern and polished. If you use your iPad with a keyboard, you probably notice that the pointer has changed. It's no longer a circle that's floating around, it's a triangle for more precision. And Apple now lets you fully customize it. To start, open settings, then go to accessibility, then scroll down and tap on pointer control. You'll find a slider to resize the pointer, making it bigger or smaller depending on what you like. By the way, you can also increase the contrast, making it more visible. And you can also add a border to make the pointer stand out against any background. Also, if you hate how the pointer just disappears when you're inactive, turn off the auto hide pointer feature. This way the pointer stays visible all the time. Folders on your iPad don't have to be plain and boring anymore either. With iPad OS 26, you can add colors and emojis to your folders to make them more fun and easier to spot. To customize, simply long press on any folder and select customize folder and tags. From here, go to tags and pick a color for this folder. Then you can go back and you will see this new emoji button. Just press on it and choose whatever matches the vibe of the folder and that's it. Now let me share a few very quick tips. 
Ever notice how your iPad's battery just drowns after a few years? Well, let's make it last longer. If you go to settings, tap on battery, and then go to battery health. Here you will see limit to 80%, so just press on it. The setting will make your iPad stop charging at 80% to reduce battery wear over time. This is perfect for those who keep their iPads at home. But if you take your iPad somewhere one day and you need it for that whole day to last, just turn off that feature for that day, charge it to 100%, and you'll be good. The next quick tip is playing video games on your iPad with a controller. This is literally how I play video games on my iPad. I just pair my Xbox controller to my iPad via Bluetooth. It's very easy to connect it and takes about 10 seconds. Now I can launch games like Fortnite or Call of Duty and enjoy playing my video games on my iPad without the iPad on-screen controls because those are literally the worst. Journaling on your iPad got easier too. No more using notes app or third-party journaling apps for your digital journal. iPad now has its own journal app that comes with iPad OS 26. It supports photos, text, and handwritten notes. So it's perfect for daily journaling or planning. And by the way, you can have multiple journals. So if you want to have different journals for different things, you can do it now. And that's it. Those were all the tips and tricks for your iPad. If you didn't know at least three of these hacks, give this video a like. And if you didn't know at least seven of these, then subscribe to my channel. And if you didn't know at least 15 of these tips and tricks, make sure to comment. Thanks to ESR for sponsoring this video again, and I'm signing off till the next one.